First of all, I would like to thank the um, organizing committee members for this um, golden opportunity. Um, the title of my presentation is uh, Transfer Shared Courses um, in Second Language Acquisition. I can actually see count. Um, um, I'm going after the introduction, I'm going to shed light on the following lines of argumentation. I'm going to uh, tackle tenets and relevance of connectionism. Rather, I'm going just to hand on them. Then I will talk about transfer process in second language acquisition. Um, after that, I'm going to uh, highlight the shift process. Um, there, and finally, joint activation. And I'm going to draw a conclusion. Uh, the introduction. Uh, this study falls within the cognitive uh, field to language um, learning and uh, acquisition. And I'm going to, uh, the aim of the presentation is to achieve two objectives accounting for the process of uh, transfer in early stages of um, learning and shift process in later stages. Um, the approach that I'm going to adapt is connectionist, uh, building on connectionist framework which uh, looks at languages uh, cognitive network of interconnected uh, units or nodes. I uh, draw the following assumption. Um, the acquisition of second language uh, uh, requires from Arab students, especially Moroccan students, in my context, to have established a huge network of interconnected units and should have developed some executive uh, systems. Um, connectionism, as you know, um, is premised on the following main concepts. Uh, your it was uh, connectionism weight adjustment of connections, recruitment of neurons, activation and inhibition, and parallel distributed uh, processing. Um, the concept neural network uh, entails that the brain is populated by billions of uh, neurons um, engaging in creating neural assemblies um, within organized frames the schemas and uh, they are responsible for in the cognitive ability including um, linguistic processing and linguistic learning. Um, different experiences create different connections depending on uh, which neurons <laughs> get stimulated in the brain. Some connections become stronger, while others uh, become weaker, depending on weight of adjustment to connections, and depending on the neuroplasticity. Uh, some neurons are recruited, while others are waiting for recruitment. Uh, the recruited ones, which means uh, um, that here, um, action potentials have been exploited. Uh, activation uh, spreads throughout uh, different circuits in different regions in the brain, um, which means uh, processing is distributed. Uh, the second point transfer from L1 network. Connectionist models refer to the following salient characteristics of uh, your network in the context, of course, of uh, um, language acquisition. Um, uh, when conceptualizing and producing um, 
educational structures, for example, our students transfer a big number of lexical, symmetric, and pragmatic values from uh, Arabic niche work, which is dense, into the later niche work, which is the second language, and um, activate some sort of uh, simulations, imaginings, etc., that are emitted by the uh, premise. Uh, schemas, scripts, scenarios, etc., that populate the conceptual system. In emergence, the second concept, emergence. Uh, in early stages of learning, uh, learners haven't established yet or haven't. Um, I haven't reached the level of complex of languages and complex adaptive system. Because perception, motor action, and cognition are still in the beginning of mobilization. Uh, in this stage, they demonstrate weak connections uh, between lexical semantic notice and conceptual notice substrated by uh, um, neural assemblies. However, students start with um, start with building a little network and then expand the network to include other elements at the lexical and conceptual level. Following connectionism, uh, second language learners must experience massive transfer from first need to work into the second. Because their need to work is still small and uh, fragmentary, connectionists uh, expect as well, um, they expect that learners engage in analogy and different types of, of generalizations, building in first language. Transfer takes place at the level of reference. The idea here is that initial reference of new, um, new vocabulary from the first, um, a new vocabulary for L2, is uh, it makes use of the full conceptual structure of the most closely corresponding unit. Uh, such influentiality can be attributed to the fact that uh, L2 learners come to L2 learning with firmly entrenched L1 patterns and they have commitment, neural commitment to these patterns. Uh, this commitment has both negative and positive uh, impacts concerning the uh, positive impact. Um, neocortical uh, circuits can acquire a new knowledge and uh, new linguistic items when they are in tune with the um, with the prior experiences. I mean, uh, conceptual frames, the conceptual frames, um, um, emotional frames, etc. Let's move to um, the third concept, which is competition. Uh, speech errors resulting from competition are to be attributed as well to spread of activation in the niche work. Um, an incorrect lexical node becomes more active than the correct node and thus gets selected instead. The activation of the corresponding item, either a word or syntactic instruction, etc., is performed by group of neurons, and uh, this group is determined, of course, by uh, uh, the flow of information and the interconnectedness of uh, the uh, neural network. Uh, it follows that the selection of an item during microgenesis of an utterance. Uh, 
requires the activation. Uh, uh, it sets that of any possible alternative. Which means computers must be inherited by the network. and activation uh, has to do mostly with linguistic relativity. I mean uh, different languages categorize the word differently. Um, for example, um, let's take for example the um, lexical Latin that have to do with uh, spatial instructions. English has two lexical items for uh, encoding um, containment, a and uh, at, where Arabic has only one lexical item which is t. So the competitors here, the most obvious competitors are, for example, they can do what is said about uh, spatial concepts and uh, lexical items can be said about uh, other constructions. Let's take, for example, uh, some candidates that uh, compete for expressing the intended meaning. It's make do, do t instead of make t because Arabic permits that. So there is a conceptual transfer, not only a lexical transfer. N and two contribute in instead of contribute to mm, uh, in and at in whom and at whom in and on in time and time majority on majority is which means um, lexical semantic English notes are still connected to Arabic ones which are potentiated in the long term memory. Here we are talking about conceptual transfer, proportional to activation spreads to Arabic properties, to, um, and of course to Arabic culture <coughs> through uh, cognitive models, through the way of uh, knowledge organizing brain following cognitive linguistics. Um, the two point shifts between two cognitive networks. In later stages, Teaches of learning, um, we have been established a strong network, uh, associated network that encompasses English items um, and become capable of conceptualizing particularities and patterns. Learners can shift from the first network into the second. That is to say, the neurocognitive network uh, can activate, is capable of uh, activating such interconnected units and spread the activation in a brilliant manner, which means there is little room for errors. The third point, which is gradients or frequency. Uh, usage is of vital importance, it is a force for consolidating the representations of uh, linguistic forms. Um, uh, the connectionist network can rapidly compute lexical semantic and cognitive connections. And this involves, of course, priming, which is an instance of uh, implicit learning. All this led to automatic processing by the network. I mean, prolonged a lot of training on lexical semantic um, mappings and connections lead to what's the automatic processing by the network.
to do your unit work. It requires the creation of a lot of assemblies that conspire to create meaning, to create um, linguistic structures. At that time, uh, the uh, learner can shift from the first unit work into the second without any problem, despite the fact that there is a little problem which is joint activation, activation of the two languages at the same time, which might lead sometimes to interference. Thank you very much for listening.